Hi friends! Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo Japanese Everyday Food. Today I'm going to be making Japanese apple pie. Two years ago I made apple pie with caramel apple. Today's version is more popular style in Japan, loved by all generations. It's my all time favorite, it has a kind of nostalgic flavor. The pie is flaky and light, and it goes so well with tangy apple filling. It's a perfect match for your cravings for the taste of fall. Let's get started. First, let's make Pie Express. This pie dough is basically a pat brise, the flaky pastry, in other words. I fold it into four to make it light and airy. You can get a similar effect like folded pie in much shorter time. It's a quick and easy way to make perfect pie crust which rise in the oven. The pie crust looks dry, but when you squeeze it, and if it forms a dough, it's good. Transfer to a plastic bag and press down to put together from the outside of the bag. In this way, you avoid developing the gluten to make the pie firm. Chew in the freezer for 20 minutes or until firm to touch. Cut open the bag. Take out onto the dusted working surface. Roll out to 40 to 20 cm and fold in four. Chill in the fridge until used. Next, let's make apple pie filling. Cut apple in quarter and core and peel. Slice horizontally and put in a pot. Add in lemon juice to prevent turning brown. Add in 20% of sugar for the weight of the apple. Turn the heat to medium and cook with the lid. After 5 minutes, toss to cook evenly. The moisture draws out from the apple and cook until almost all of the moisture is evaporated.
It took me ten minutes. Turn the heat off and add in rum raisin. Or you can add cinnamon and vanilla instead. Set aside until used. Next, let's make Genoa's. This apple pie's signature light texture is from the Genoa's. It will absorb the moisture from the apple and prevent the raw and uncooked bottom. Crack your egg in stand mixer bowl, or use hand mixer to beat the egg. Heat the oven for 180 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, grease the cake mold and line the paper inside. Whip until you can draw a line, and you can see the line for more than five seconds. Sift in the cake flour and fold in. Keep in mind not to overmix. When all the flour folds in, add a scoop of mixture to the vegetable oil. Vegetable oil makes light and fluffy genoas. Mix until homogenized and put it back in the bowl. Fold in until evenly mixed. Pour in the prepared cake mold. Look at that shiny and smooth cake batter. It looks deflated, but it's totally fine. If your cake batter is too fluffy at this stage, the cake will be expand in your oven, but shrink immediately when you take out from the oven. Take out the pie crust from the fridge and roll it out three millimeter in thickness. Dust with flour as much as you need, and flip it over several times to make it even. Cut off the both sides of the crust for the bottom layer. What I need is nice and even strips to make lattice on top. Roll out the pie crust 30 by 40 cm rectangle, 2 mm in thickness. Use your ruler and pie cutter to cut out the strips. If you don't have a ruler, use a rolling pin instead. You will need 10 strips to make lattice top. Place 5 strips on a thin cutting board or something like that to slide easily on top of the pie. Make a lattice on the board. Check the size occasionally with the pie plate you are using. The space between the strips should not be so wide because the pie crust will shrink while baking. Use 21 cm circle to cut out the necessary part. Now let's roll out the bottom crust. Put the leftover crust from the lattice and roll out until it covers the pie dish.
place it on the pie dish and press gently to fit the crust to the dish. Cut off the pie crust but leave 2 cm excess to overlap the pop crust. Prick all over the surface to cook evenly. Chill in the fridge for a while to prevent shrinking in the oven. I have a little bit of the leftover crust. Let's keep it for the decoration. We will need two slices of Genoa's, one centimeter in thickness. I use a ruler but you can slice like this. Mix a half of egg yolk and one teaspoon of whole milk for the egg wash. Preheat the oven before assemble. Now let's assemble. Take out the pie shell from the fridge and place the genoise on the bottom. It's a little bit big in diameter, so I cut a part of it to fit in. Put your apple pie filling on top and even the surface. Place one more genoas on the apple pie filling. Put your lattice on top and brush the egg wash all over the edges. Put together the bottom crust and top. Secure with the fork and brush the egg wash all around the edges. Garnish with the leftover crust if you like. Brush egg wash on the surface and pop in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes or until golden brown. Smells so full in my kitchen. Leave it 10 to 15 minutes before take out from the dish. Let me taste. I like to have the big slice. I enjoyed the apple tea full of flavor of apple with the apple pie. It's so apple today. I hope you will give this recipe a try and enjoy with your friends and families. It's good for your Thanksgiving dessert or Christmas dessert. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. 
and my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!